Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdale here. In this video I'm going to discuss a simple example uh, of a first order partial differential equation. It's linear, it has constant coefficients and it's coupled with some initial data. Now this combination is called a Cauchy problem. Now this video is one in a series on the transport equation. Now the transport equation is and the simple one that we've been looking at is something like this, where v is a function of x and t and c is a constant. And the solution, the solution to this PDE here, is the following general form where f is an arbitrary but differentiable function. Okay, so I've discussed that in other videos. Okay, now if you look at this problem here, it is not the same as this problem here for a particular C. So we don't know how to solve this problem directly. But what we're going to do is actually reduce the given PDE down to a form like this one, which we do know how to solve. And for that, we're going to make use of an integrating factor. Okay, and you can sort of relate this, some of this back to uh, the differential equations that you solve in, say, uh, first course in, in ODE, ordinary differential equations, or calculus 2 course. You form an integrating factor and collapse uh, two of the terms down to a special product, uh, the derivative of, of a product. Okay, so what we're going to do is reduce. our ODE into a transport type PDE via the use or the application of an integrating factor. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, if you look at the coefficient of U here, it's just a simple, it's just a constant, right? So if you want to turn these two terms into, uh, after multiplication by the integrating factor, into the derivative of a product, how do we do it? Well, <clears throat> let me show you. So our, define our IF, our integrating factor, by e to the integral of this coefficient of u. So in this case, it's going to be e to the 7x. Okay, now if I take that integrating factor and I multiply both sides of our PDE, then I get the following. So we multiply both sides. Okay, now this is just the partial derivative with respect to x of the unknown function u times the integrating factor. Okay, and you can verify that by the product rule. And over here, this is the partial derivative with respect to t of u times e to the 7x. And the key is the integrating factor doesn't depend on t. So this can be compressed, compressed to the following. So the first term can be written like this, okay? Because e to the seven x doesn't depend on t at all, and the second and third terms can be written like this, okay? And if you expand this using the product rule, you'll, you'll see you'll get this underlined these underlined terms. Now, if I let V be this, then I get the transport equation. Uh, with V equals U 
times e to the 7x. Okay, so this is a u here. Okay, well, I, I know what the solution is. So the solution to this problem is just the following. It's just a function of x minus ct. So in here, c is just positive 1. And so to get u, let's just divide both sides by e to the 7x. Okay, so this is our general solution to this problem here. So let's refine it a bit, go through and find our arbitrary function f. So we have an arbitrary function uh, f here, and um, we'll get our, our final solution. So our initial condition or our initial data gives the following. So u of x0, zero, so when y equals 0, we just get the exponential function. Uh, sorry, when t equals 0, we get the exponential function. So if we go up here and plug in t equals 0, we'll get e to the negative 7x times f of x. If I rearrange that, I will get f of x equals e to the 8x. So let's go back, write our general form with this particular f, and we finished. Okay, so it's e to the negative 7x times e to the 8x minus t. Okay, so I can clean up some of these a little bit, and I'll get... Um, e to the x minus 8t. So this then is our final answer. Okay, now you can, if you want to, test to see, yes, the initial condition or the Cauchy data is satisfied, and you can test that this PDE is also satisfied. So the nice use of integrating factor to solve this linear problem by compressing it, if you like, down to a transport equation which we know how to solve. Now in other videos I'll be discussing more examples and deriving the transport equation. I hope you can join me for those presentations.